Hi, I'm Damien Kulash from OK Go, and this is Billboard.com. Lollapalooza is is such an incredible institution, and I remember I'm um, going to see uh, the second one, I think, 1992 or three or something like that. Um, and so when we were invited to play in 2005, the first time it was not a touring festival, but here in Chicago, we were we didn't know what to expect. You know, we didn't know if if it if, if making it to a multi-day festival was going to make it was was an upgrade or a downgrade or what. And when we showed up, and it was this huge, huge, really well done event. Um, we, we were uh, beyond thrilled. We were playing on the main stage right before Arcade Fire that year, and I had never seen Arcade Fire before, and it was, uh, maybe it was, must have been 102 degrees or something, and so it was like swelteringly hot, and, the, and, and so everyone's like just sweating up a storm, and the music was awesome, and the whole event is just, it's so, it's, it's so big, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's so much bigger than other festivals, and, and all of this, you know, the press and the, the sort of, um, machinery that operates around it is so efficient and so impressive that it's like it's not like just showing up to play a gig. Our, our live show is pretty immersive and you know at festivals you have to sort of pull back you can't do you can't always do all of the the you know visuals and all of the confetti and the immersive elements but um, what we what we really care about in live shows is that feeling of the magnet passing over the iron filings you know like everyone's emotions lining up all at once and and that's that's that can be people all going crazy at the same time. It can be everyone going silent at the same time. It's just that feeling of human c connectivity. You know, it's like something you can't get through a computer screen. It's something you can't get through your iPod. It's like we're all here and we're all experiencing the same thing. So we're we're just gonna be gunning for that. You know, hoping we can get everyone on the same wavelength. We have a new live album that just came out. It's uh it 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 records 180 shows we played last year. We we did a lot of touring. Um, we're working on a new album right now that we hope will come out um, early 2012, probably springtime, maybe early summer. Um, I'm recording a new record. I'm producing a record for um, Lavender Diamond, the Los Angeles band. Uh, and and I can't believe I get to say this. This week we are making a video with the Muppets. Bam! The Muppets. <laughs> we uh we we recorded the theme song that you know the it's time to put on makeup. It's time to light the lights. We recorded a cover of that for a new Muppets cover album, a tribute album that's coming out. And um, the Muppets heard it, and it's a really twisted kind of dark version. And it sort of like really matched their sense of humor, like you know screwing with the screwing with the screwing with the Muppets. And um, and so they they asked if we'd make a video with them. And like you, you know you don't you don't turn down the Muppets. I could barely answer the Muppets. I was so excited. I I I one time I mean the first time I ever met a Muppet was backstage at at the. Um, at the Tonight Show, and I was there. Actually, I wasn't even playing. I was there visiting a friend who was in town performing, and and Kermit was backstage, and I literally lost it. Like, there's video. You can go look online. I, there's a home video of me. I look like I'm crying. All my friends were like, "Damien, were you high?" Because I got so excited that I actually started like, like shaking and tearing. I, I'm a big Muppets fan. We played President Obama's birthday party this week, and I, and while I love the president, I gotta say I'm even more excited about making a video with the Muppets. It's sort of like, it's like Obama, Sam the Eagle, you know, they're right, they're kind of like neck and neck for me.